In this video, we're going to look at how we can evaluate a polynomial. But before we do, there's a little bit of vocabulary with polynomials that we need to be aware of. The first is a term, which is simply a product of numbers and or variables. An example of a term might be 7a squared b, or it might just be variables like x, y, or it might just be a number like negative 3. As long as the only operation is multiplication, that makes up a term. Based on the number of terms we have in things, we have special names for them as well. A monomial has one term. The examples that we listed earlier, such as 7a squared b, are examples of monomials because they each have one term. A binomial, bi meaning two, has two terms. Mono meant one, bi meant two, two terms, something like a squared minus b squared. And you'll notice what separates terms is going to be either an addition or a subtraction sign. Trinomial, then, has three terms. An example of that may be ax squared plus bx plus c. Again, the addition separating the three terms. A polynomial, then, is what we call everything else. Poly means many terms, and in fact, polynomial even includes all these other categories of monomial, binomial, and trinomial. But a polynomial could just have lots of terms, something like maybe ax squared plus by squared plus cxy plus dx plus ey plus f. Lots and lots of terms. That is a polynomial, many, many terms. And one thing we might be asked to do with a polynomial is to evaluate it, which simply means to replace the variables in the polynomial with the value that we have. So for example, if we have 5x squared minus 2x plus 6, and we want to know that x equals negative 2. What that simply means is take each of the x's and we're going to replace them with what x represents, the negative 2. So we have 5x, or 5 times negative 2 squared, minus 2x, two, 2 times negative 2, plus 6. Also notice, as I make this substitution, as I replace these variables, they must be put in parentheses. Now we can simply evaluate. Order of operations says do the exponent first. So we have 5 times negative 2, which is 4, negative 2 squared, minus 2 times negative 2, plus 6. Next, we multiply. 5 times 4 is 20, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, and we have a positive 6. Simply have to add together what's left, and we have 20 plus 4 plus 6 is 30. Let's try another example. Here we have negative x squared plus 2x minus 7, where x is equal to 4. Simply going to replace each of the x's with 4 in parentheses. Notice as we do this, the negative is not part of the replacement. It's the opposite of x squared, or the opposite of 4 squared. Only the 4 is in parentheses. Plus 2 times x, which is 4, minus 7. Again, order of operations, squaring the 4. We have the opposite of 16, plus 2 times 4, minus 7. Multiplication comes next in order of operations, so we have negative 16 plus 8 minus 7. Do all that adding and subtracting, and we end up with negative 15 for our final answer. To evaluate a polynomial, we simply replace the variable with the value 
it represents.